All right, welcome back to our next tutorial with Note Flight. This one's going to deal with some particular rhythmic things uh, that you come across outside of just your normal quarter notes, half notes, eighth notes, whole notes, the, the simple basic, basic stuff. <clears throat> we'll get into a couple other uh, little particular things that you'll run across from time to time. So you'll notice that I have my duration menu up here with the note values. And I also have this other menu, this rhythm menu, that has some, some kind of specific things that we're going to deal with. So I'm just going to start <clears throat> real basic and put a couple of notes in here. And so here I put in a half note. And I just want you to remember that once you put a note in, it, you can, without using the cursor, if you realize you put in the wrong note value, you can always change it. So I'm still on that half note. If I click on quarter note, it's going to change it to whatever note value I want. Okay? So that's a major change. Let's say a small change. I put in a half note, and then I look back and go, oops, that was supposed to be a dotted half note. <clears throat> Works the same way. I'm on the half note. Here's the dot. I'm going to add it, and remember the dynam or excuse me, the articulations that toggled or turned off and on. I can always take that dot away, put it on. Um, also, if I want to put a tie in, I can do that now, and then go over and put the next note value in. So I got a tie. So I'll take those out, and let's say I just wanted that to be a dotted half note. <clears throat> the other kind of dotted note that we might sometimes encounter is a dotted eighth note. So I'll put that there. And I wanted that, excuse me, to be a dotted eighth note. So there we go. And a dotted eighth note is almost always followed by a sixteenth note. So now I have that. The next measure, I need a dotted quarter note. And then the eighth note. So there you go. That's basic dotted notes. That's how those work. Uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is triplets. You know, we'll come across triplets from time to time. Most common being an eighth note triplet. In other words, three eighth notes that take up the space of one quarter note. So if I'm looking at my music and I want to put in <clears throat> three eighth note triplets, my first inclination, the first thing I'm going to think is I'm going to put in an eighth note. Unfortunately, that's not how note flight thinks. Note flight is thinking about the space that that triplet's going to take up. So I'm actually going to put in a quarter note. So let's say my the first note of my triplet is a D in this case. Now I'm looking at that going a quarter note, but I need an eighth note. Uh, watch what's going to happen. Up here in my rhythm menu, I have some <clears throat> very different particular kinds of rhythms. Notice the three over here, triplet three. I'm going to click on that, and voila, now I have my three eighth notes to make my triplet. So I'll click on this second eighth note, and that's supposed to be that. Go to the next one, and I'm there. Now if I go to the next beat and I need to continue with triplets, it's going to be the same process. Quarter note, triplet. And I've got two quarter note triplets, or uh, two triplets, uh, three eighth notes each triplet. So that's how we do dotted notes and triplets. A couple of other nice things that are in that rhythm menu, and these are particular to percussion. So sometimes in percussion we have these slashes for a roll. Same thing, if I click on that, it's just going to add it to it. Or you might <clears throat> have the Z type roll, like that. So those are more percussion oriented notations, but that's how you would do those. So some simple stuff, uh, simple uh, things to do to add some of the more tricky, complicated rhythms that you might run across in your music. Uh, always remember save, 
save and save often. It's not like Google where it saves automatically for you. You actually have to manually save it with the control S. All right. That's it for this tutorial and note values. We'll see you on the next one.